My name is Katie, if we have not met, and I have some exciting news. I'm writing a book! And I just wanted to sit down and talk to you guys today, really casually, you'll probably hear some cars driving by, <laughs> about how God laid this idea on my heart and what the content of this book is about. So, this book is called Better Than Life, and it's based off of Psalm 63. And I'm just going to read Psalm 63 to you guys really quick, and then I'll tell you the story of how God laid this idea on my heart. Psalm 63 says this, You, God, are my God. Earnestly I seek you. I thirst for you. My whole being longs for you. In a dry, parched land where there is no water. I have seen you in the sanctuary and beheld your power and your glory. Because your love is better than life, my lips will glorify you. I will praise you as long as I live, and in your name I will lift up my hands. I will be fully satisfied as with the richest of foods. By the singing of my mouth, I will praise you. On my bed, I remember you. I think of you through the watches of the night. Because you are my help, I sing in the shadow of your wings. I cling to you, and your right hand upholds me. As I was driving down downtown Waco, just trying to find a spot to film this video, I accidentally drove by this mural. And I don't know if you can read it, but it says wildflowers bloom in the most unexpected of places. Guys, that's my favorite metaphor of all time. So I know God made me intentionally drive by this mural so I can see it. But guys, I just love the way that wildflowers grow in the cracks of concrete and on the side of highways. Because when the rain comes, something beautiful just naturally pops up. And in the same way in our own lives, the things that we go through and the hard things that we experience, God uses for good. What the enemy intends for evil, God uses for good. So the idea of this book has been stirring in me for a while, but it actually really came to me. The Lord really placed it on my heart when I was in quarantine with COVID. And if that's not a wildflower metaphor, I don't know what is. So I was in quarantine with COVID uh, and one of my friends sent me Psalm 63 one morning and I read it and God just laid the idea on my heart so vividly of, wow, the Lord's love is better than life. Like, do our hearts believe that? Like, do I live my life like that? And in that moment, God really just laid the whole outline of this book on my heart and the message that I want to share with you, that the Lord's love can be better than our earthly relationships. It can be better than our friendships. It can be better than our insecurities. It can be better than our anxieties or our plans or our achievements. The Lord's love can be better than life. It can be our identity. So that is what this book is about. And in the next coming weeks, I'm going to share with you more in depth about what each chapter is really about. I am just so excited to continue this journey. Um, just to be honest and transparent, I have written a book proposal. I've sent it to a couple of publishers and all of them have really liked the content. Um, but in order for me to move forward, I have to keep growing my social platforms. But I know that God will make a way. So I just pray and I ask that you would pray that God would just speak to my heart as I continue to write, that God would open the hearts of future publishers, and that God would just open the ears of people who need to hear this message, and that my heart would fully surrender to his timeline and to his plans. And also this book is about Miss Deanne and it was inspired by her. Um, the weeks before she passed away, I was meditating on Ephesians 2, 1 through 10, which talks about how we were dead in our sins, but made alive in Christ. And it's nothing that we can do that we are made alive, but it is through Christ that we have life. And his love is better than that life. Um, and Miss Deanne's passing away really inspired a lot of what the content of this book is going to be about. Miss Deanne really always believed in me and she used to read all of my blog posts that I used to write when I was like eight years old um, and so I just think it's really beautiful that it's another wildflower moment that God is using her passing and what she proclaimed through her whole life as part of what this book is about and so I'm really passionate about it and I know Miss Deanne would be cheering me on if she were still on earth but I know that she's having a dance party in heaven so that's pretty legit um, <laughs> So yes, that is really the heartbeat behind this book. I'm really excited to continue sharing more about what it will be about. Please be praying. I love you guys so much.